Come on, Brad. How you feeling? We'll talk about it later. Keep going. Woo, 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 woo. All right, folks. Um, I'm about ready to start getting ready. Brad is finishing his race. Mine starts in about an hour. A lot of time to kill today, which you would think would be lots of time to stress the fuck out. But you know what? Everyone here seems to be having so much fun watching the C race, watching the B race. Like, it's so fun watching. So why is it so stressful uh, sometimes for me when I'm actually racing? Uh, AKA, um, I am 100% committed to having a blast today. So uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, next next thing you see might be some, some serious hardcore racing footage uh, here at Bike Vids. Let's get into it. The Mare Island Pedal Fest is basically a road loop around this super cool place called Mare Island with a few kind of cyclocross parts and then some kind of like, you know, kind of bips and bobs. It favors uh, fast people on flat ground <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, you know, that, that's the deal. Um, basically, a lot of things that probably don't necessarily play to, to my strengths overall. But I will tell you, it is very fun. Uh, and it is an incredible, festive environment. Quickly, goals. Uh, yesterday, I was in a clusterfuck, two crashes, and headed off course. I want to basically ride more consistently today and less in in my head and hopefully mix it up with some people this is a real great example coming up of basically what it takes to be a winner at A's um, and that's these guys coming around on the left you know like we're not just going we're not going slow we're not like saving it but I mean <laughs> like too. Like, yeah, I mean, they're basically sprinting, but like having the confidence to like put that energy down, having the ability to boom, and like now they're in the head, head of the race, and that's the last time I'm going to see them uh, for sure for the day. So, again, some, some fast folks uh, out here on course today. Oh, also loving like these mountain bikers like at the time I was like what the fuck those guys were like riding full suspension mountain bikes and like hauling ass it wasn't like till like watching the footage I realized that these guys just kind of like barged the start of the race they're not like uh, <laughs> registered racers I don't know if they raced the whole thing or just were like I'm gonna go as fast as possible for you know first 60 seconds but um yeah, so that's awesome. So I'm actually, I feel like, you know, you could kind of see like, you know, like going into this first lap, my goal is really try to just avoid no man's land and kind of stick with stick with a, a group of people. I think that's going to really help on a lot of the road riding that is, that is, you know, part of the course. Yay, we finally, well, pretty soon, <laughs> we get to finally do some cycle cross here. We're going to get off-road. I have never done this before. I put uh, completely different tires on for this race. That is not something I normally do, but because there's so much road, I'm running a uh, 40-millimeter <laughs> millimeter WTB byway, which was basically center slick and knobbies on the side. Long story short, good call, uh, good call. And uh, even though this stuff is like slippery, it's you know kind of fun and slippery. But either way, feeling good, feeling good here, folks at Bike Bits.
doing, Jonah? This would be a great time for me to thank Spanga Santa Cruz. They're sponsoring my race feeds for the BASP Cyclocross series this year, which is greatly appreciated. Let me tell you real quick what Spanga is. It's a three-part workout, spin, strength, and yoga. It's amazing. It's helped me. It can help you. And it's fun. It, you don't need to. I think 99% of people at Spanga Santa Cruz are not racing cyclocross. You don't need to race or do anything except Spanga Santa Cruz. Last time I said if you uh, tell them Bike Fids sent you, you'll get a free session. Turns out that's actually just company policy. Uh, has nothing to do with bike bits. Uh, it was just making me feel like important. So uh, look them up, call them up, uh, go in, say hi, uh, and check it out. And then let me know what you think. Even by just the end of lap one that we're coming around to, you could see there's, you know, no man's land in front of these folks. And I'm, you know, I tell you the truth, I'm not sure <laughs> this point what's happening behind me. But like, I'm just kind of like, okay, these two dudes, like, if I'm racing against these two dudes for the rest of the race, like, that's a success. We're not at the front, we're not at the back, but like, there are some people. <laughs> there are people. This is a little thing that really shows I don't really truly understand bike racing. Like right there. I mean, is that really necessary? Uh, you know, when there's so much room to kind of like push me towards that <laughs> metal gate I don't know um, I think it's just I'm not saying that guy's a dick I'm just saying it's just part of bike racing I guess um, yeah. so yeah we're coming around for for the end of lap one Here comes uh, Greg's big mistake of the day. Uh, you know, can't have too smooth of a situation. I, boom, here, go off course. So I don't know, count the seconds, right? Off course, am I off course? Yeah, oh, shit, better turn around, <laughs> get back. Um, again, I mean, it's just feeling like forever. I mean, this is probably 10 seconds. But the point is like, I don't know. I mean, where this was there someone behind me? I feel like those two good guys were course. behind me. Like, 
Whoopsie. Also, what I don't understand about bike racing, like, should someone have yelled, hey, buddy, <laughs> you're going the wrong way? I don't fucking know. Um, or are they just stoked? Or did they not notice? Like, it doesn't, again, I'm not saying people are dicks. Uh, it's just like, I'm just feeling bad for going off course, and I wish someone would have helped me at the time. So, I mean, that changes the race entirely, right? Now I'm everything is catch up you know no matter how good or bad i do you can't just stop the race for 15 seconds at this level of racing uh it's gonna have consequences The good news is I was really having fun uh, on this race. The course is fun. Um, my pep talk, just Brad was there. You know, I just was having more fun. <laughs> and uh, and that felt just really good. And, I, and to tell you the truth, I felt like pretty good. I felt pretty, <laughs> pretty strong and stuff too. So, you know, it's really, and that's what it's all about, right? Um, how it's not necessarily about results. <laughs> it's about how you feel. gentlemen I'm, I'm following around uh, a little bit and I think oh. eventually pass but again I'm kind of like because of my going off course like I don't even know like I think this is maybe um, someone I recognize from the starting <laughs> but maybe it could be um, someone from the age group behind me um, so you know that has caught me so I just don't even I don't really kind of I'm back in that situation again where I'm kind of unclear like who I'm racing against so in my mind I'm just I'm like racing against everyone like I don't care what category <laughs> you're in if uh, if I see you we are uh, we're racing against uh, against each other
after going through the water part, you know, the only real time, like, you use your brakes <laughs> is, like, this part. So, like, this is just, I think, just happening to everyone coming up here. It's just your brakes aren't really working that awesome. I also... Again, I'm like so not normally into like, I guess, marginal gains because I think it's basically bullshit. But I'm just so kind of still slightly panicked at the A level. I even changed my chain lube for this race because I knew we'd be going through that water. And so I used a petroleum based uh, chain lube instead of a wax based chain lube. So, which I would, again, say, good call. I think it was the right call, but just normally I would not really care <laughs> about such details. I like that part, like Brad is telling me, um, like I think his whole race approach was like pushing up the pace each lap and kind of slowly, gradually, like crescendoing with pace. And so he's telling me just a little bit more, just up it a little more. And I'm just like, in my mind, like, dude, I'm just hanging on with whatever is here. But it's still awesome to, to, have, um, to have folks out. Okay. Okay. Smooth. Okay. Have we seen this part okay. of the course yet? You go through this really cool, like, um, forested courtyard, <laughs> very ruddy, uh, tight turns that they have us going through. But again, it's just like, uh, they call this Urban CX, um, and yeah, it really is. And I think when you do kind of cycle cross in general, you tend to like look at public spaces and parks as kind of a cycle cross course. So, um... Yeah, this is uh, a fun part of the course, too. Hi. Yeah. folks can't see but there's someone ahead I'm trying to catch this is kind of like my main mission which I'm definitely stoked on it's nice to have a mission um, when there's like I don't know, two laps to go or something like that um, but it also turns out I think I explained the whole thing live uh, on course um, so we could hear we could hear that uh, play by play I don't think you guys can see but there's someone ahead of me that I'd like to catch, of course, but not sure. Gotta be smart. Look ahead, curb. I think I got a little gap on the last people I passed, but catching this guy, it's going to be a doozy.
focused, calm. Look ahead. Look ahead. Smooth. Focused. Calm. Look ahead. No mistakes. No mistakes. I think this is kind of when I start to realize, like, I'm not going to catch that guy. <laughs> These people are too fast. <laughs> um, I've got some strengths on the course. I think some of those, like, I guess you'd say the actual, like, cycle cross parts. But, like, on these, like, just open road parts, I'm just not fast enough. So I try to get, uh, I think this is a junior, like, uh, A-level, like, uh, junior like I try to get him to like work with me to catch that guy let's get that guy there you go buddy but that uh but that motivation backfires because yeah. <laughs> then I can't uh, hold that guy's wheel so um, hopefully he did catch that guy This is the end. This is the end. The final lap, the finish of the Mare Island Pedal Fest. It turns out the guy I was chasing down was indeed in the uh, age group above me, 55 plus. I'm not sure where he was in his field. Um, as far as I'm concerned, he's great. <laughs> Started after me. I couldn't keep up with him. Um, but yeah, super fun, super fun day of, of racing uh, here at Pike Fits.